Yeah, I guess for, for us cricketers, out in the, the public eye a lot, and I guess whether you like it or not, you're, you're definitely role models on the field as well. And the way that you, you conduct yourself, the way you perform, the way we we promote the game as well, I think that, that comes into play and it's all part of, of being a being a sportsman or, or a professional athlete around the world these days. And, and for us, um, you know, you've got to be mindful of that. There's, there's, there's always little kids watching. And for us, it's great to try and get as many kids uh, involved in the game of cricket that we can. So for some guys, it might be confronting at first, but you, you take it as part of the role as a, as a cricketer and an athlete as well. And I'm still that little kid who, who'd sit on the boundary and, and try and get the autographs as well. So um, I think I, I keep that in mind and, and, and like to try and give as much of my time um, around cricket as I can to give back to that, that young me who was just trying to do the same thing. I still remember sitting on the boundary um, at a PM's 11 game when Steve Wall played. Um, Dad picked me up from school and we went straight down to Canberra. Um, I think he got out for not many. He picked up a plastic chair, came down to one of the boundaries and there was just mountains of people and he signed for hours. And he's always a hero of mine and, and I really admired how uh, he went about his cricket, how he was as a person. And, and that for me as a kid to see someone as decorated as him as, a, as an Australian cricketer to to spend, geez, at least an hour of his time just sitting on the boundary signing for people. And um, look, I've been so fortunate through cricket to, to, have, to have met him personally now and spent some time with him. Um, he was obviously on the Ashes tour as well. So um, you know, a big highlight of that tour was playing around the golf with, with Steve Waugh, Ricky Ponting and, and Justin Langer. And it was just the four of us. And that was almost the highlight of my trip, apart from, from uh, being a part of the group to retain the Ashes. But um, yeah, along with him, I think, um, I was a wicket keeper as a kid, so as Adam Gilchrist, just loved the way he saw the ball and tried to smack it. And I'll probably still try and do that now. Oh, he's hit that all right. I think it's fantastic when you go back to, whether you go back to schools or you, you run a little coaching clinic or even you get the kids on the, on the field during a test match and you see the smiles and the, the love of the game that they have. Woo! I think that's great for us players to see that. That's why we play the game of cricket, to, for that enjoyment level and to see the the joy on their faces if, if they're loving their Australian team. You know, when they, they take time out and, and love watching us do what we do, um, it, it, I think it just comes natural for the, the whole group to be welcoming with their time and, and give back, whether it be um, you know, saying hello or having a photo or, or just giving them a high five. I think that those little things can, can make, make some kids day and, and it, it really doesn't, um, doesn't affect our, our time too much. My parents were, were big for me. They, nothing was ever too hard for them to, to get my, myself and my brother and two sisters to, to any day of sport or anything we want to do after school. To have that respect for others, I think that not drilled it into us, but it just came hand in hand with how we were brought up and hopefully um, something that stays with me going forward as well.